today's free lesson we're going to give you a really cool setting for your delay pedal so you can get that U2 type of sound without having to get a forklift to carry your rig around like the Edge does. Um, so first thing, let's uh, come on over and let's talk about the delay pedal that we're using. Alright, so here is the Line 6 M9 Stompbox Modeler, which I'm using. It has the capabilities of imitating or modeling, as they say, lots of different classic and modern effect pedals. But I, right now I kind of want to bring you over to this section here, which is where all of the important settings are, so that we can talk about how to get your delay pedal set up for the sound we're going to go for today. So the effect that I have on right now is analog echo which is basically imitating a boss um, a boss analog delay pedal one of the older versions. Now the important settings that I want you to note here um, you'll notice that the bass and the treble I just have set in the middle. I'm not worried too much about that right now but feel free to experiment. Uh, I'm mostly concerned with the time, the milliseconds, um, on the top middle, and the feedback on the top left, uh, sorry, the top uh, right hand setting, and the mix at the bottom right hand setting. Um, now notice the milliseconds timing is 329. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, because right now we're going a little more for a feel. And yes, when we're dealing with uh, milliseconds and delay times, we can get really wrapped up in uh, doing the math about everything, and uh, we're not going to get too deep into that. I want to give you the basic feel for getting the sounds um, that we're going after today. So I'm aiming for around 330. Um, 330 milliseconds, if, it, if, uh, if you're trying to dial in your pedal and it's a little bit over, a little bit under, don't worry about it. Feedback we want up uh, almost midway, and the mix is up almost midway. Feedback is how many repeats you're going to get. The mix is the mix in between the sound from the guitar and the sound from the um, effect. Okay, so let's go back to our riff. Okay, now that you've got your delay pedal setting, let's talk about the riff that we're going to play. First, let's turn off the delay. Um, the riff is basically this D major triad. I'm not going to get too much into the riff at the moment. I'm sure you can figure it out. Uh, we want to talk about the effects today. So, you got your D major triad here, and the riff is a series of six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you have a little D sus4 going on here. D sus4, D major. Okay, D sus4, D major. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So since it's in triplets, um, you want to think in the group of six. Okay, now. The reason I'm mentioning the triplets is because when we turn our delay on, we're going to think about putting the three, the triplet, over which would normally be the space of two eighth notes, okay? So it's a little bit of a polyrhythm going on here. Three, the triplet, over two straight eighth notes. Now if you listen to the slap back here, and if we put this into a timing, one and two and three. Notice that the delayed um, tone is giving me my upbeat or the eighth note. One and two and three and four and. I'm only playing the downbeat on the quarter note. One and two and three and four and. With the delay pedal, one and two and three and four and. Now I'm going to play a triplet over that rhythm there and with the same tempo. Um, so let's keep the delay on here. One and two and three. And 
and there's your little YouTube delay sound. So work with it, experiment a little bit, have fun, practice, 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 and we'll see you at the next lesson.